CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers. The internal war at Chancellor Winters was reaching a boiling point following Devon's controversial decision to fire Billy. In the heart of Genoa City, the picture full of contradictions and conflicts is gradually revealed, reflecting not only the cracks in the relationship between the main characters, but also the potential effects on the future of one of the oldest and most powerful family companies in the city. Jill, a strong and determined woman, always wants Devon to put family relationships first and favor Billy, her son, as a strategic move to protect prosperity and stability of the company. She's proud of Billy's achievements, seeing his, him as a testament to his maturity and excellent leadership abilities, a valuable asset that the company wishes to have. However, Devon, who holds the final power and decision in the company, lets his personal emotions dictate his actions. He blindly favors his younger brother, Nate, despite feedback and concerns from his staff and other family members. The decision to fire Billy to pave the way for Nate to take over as CEO is not only a controversial move, but also a strong statement about the change in power and direction of the company. This controversy not only created an atmosphere of tension and instability within the company, but also raised concerns about the possibility that Chancellor Winters could face the risk of bankruptcy. Sudden leadership changes along with controversial management decisions can lose the trust of employees, business partners, and customers thereby affecting revenue and financial stability company Maine. In this context, the story not only revolves around the power struggle for influence, but it's also a lesson on the importance of managing emotions in business and creating a work environment based on respect, fairness, and transparency. Every decision, no matter how small, can have major consequences, not only for the individual, but also the future of the entire company. Jill, Devin, Billy, and Nate all face important challenges and decisions, not only as key players in this power struggle, but also as the keepers of Chancellor Winter's destiny in their lands. Can they find a way out for themselves and the company before it's too late? Or will Chancellor Winters become a prime example of how internal conflicts and ineffective emotional management can lead to the downfall of an empire? Lily, standing between two opposing forces, faces a difficult situation. As a leader and important family member, she feels torn between her responsibility to protect the company's interests and the need to maintain good relationships between members. Family members, Lily must find a way to handle the situation wisely, ensuring that she not only protects Chancellor Winter's position in the future, but also maintains harmony and stability in the family relationship. Lily needs to carefully evaluate all aspects of the problem, from the financial and legal implications to the relationship consequences between the main characters. One possible step would be for her to hold separate meetings with each party, Devin and Jill, to better understand the root cause of the conflict and to find mutually acceptable solution, both sides. Lily can also leverage her position and influence within the company to propose a restructuring of management and shares to create a new balance of power in which each side can feel respect and have a voice. She needs to be a skillful mediator, not only resolving the current conflict, but also laying the foundation for a stable and prosperous future for Chancellor Winters.